Welcome everybody to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video. And in this video I'm going to show you how you can import your SimBrief flight plan directly into the ATR FMS. I can't claim credit for this. Acknowledgement and thanks to another YouTube channel called Yeti for coming up with this idea. And I thought more people needed to know about this as it's a huge time saver. Link to his channel in the notes below. This is the flight plan that I've generated in SimBrief from Las Vegas through to San Francisco. It includes a standard instrument departure and a standard terminal arrival route. It's a regional hop and ideally suited to something like the ATR 42 or 72. To make this process quicker and simpler, I strongly recommend you download the freeware SimBrief Downloader available from their site as it just makes everything quicker and easier. Thanks for watching, my name's Mark, and first a quick word from this video sponsor. My thanks to Flight Sim Builder for sponsoring this video. I personally use their GNS 530 430 unit and recommend them. Flight Sim Builder provides navigational units such as the GNS 530 430 and G1000 of high quality that look and feel like the real units. I've done a review on the 530 link in the notes below. They truly are plug and play. Very reasonably priced in comparison to the competition. I genuinely like these products. Visit their website, link in the notes below. A review on their G1000 unit coming up soon. And note the links are not affiliated. Once you've generated your flight plan in SimBrief, start the SimBrief download application and it'll automatically show you the most recent flight plan that you've created. And you can save that flight plan in various formats just like you can in SimBrief directly. But the difference with the SimBrief Downloader app is you can specify the exact location where you want to save that flight plan. Navigraph, I'm sure, will add the ATR to this list, but until they do, we can choose the Aerosoft CRJ. Click to activate the format, and you can see the download directory destination is highlighted. It's now just a matter of choosing the right directory. So when you select export selected formats and save the flight plan within the ATR FMS, you can pull in that flight plan directly. You can change the directory by clicking on this icon, but to use it for the ATR 42 or 72, it needs to be in a specific directory or the aircraft won't see it. To select the right directory, it's your C drive, then users, and then your username, whatever it may be, then app data, within app data we select local, and now we're looking for packages. And once in packages, we're looking for Microsoft Flight Simulator, followed by that whole long list of numbers and letters. And from there, we then want to choose local state, and then the subdirectory packages. And now we want to select Microsoft Aircraft ATR. And within that folder is another folder work. That's the folder you want to select to save your flight plans in. Yes, it's a bit of a rigmarole to get there, but you only need to do this once as the SimBrief downloader will remember the location for future saves. You would have to change the directory if you were downloading flight plans for the CRJ, but that's a whole nother story. I've included the path in the notes below the video. You just have to change your username. You can copy and paste to make access quicker and easier. Let's head back to our ATR and load up the flight plan directly in the FMS. I'm at the gate at McLaren International. We select FMS1. We'll just complete the pause in it or position initialization so the GPS knows exactly where we are. We select GPS pause and then paste it in at the top. Now we can go to flight plan initialization, then select route and right at the top is ident. This is where you enter your flight plan name. In my case, it was Kilo Lima Alpha Sierra, Kilo Sierra Foxtrot Oscar. There we are. And now to put that into ident. And as soon as we click the button, we can see the flight plan is shown in summary format. We could now go ahead and use flight plan and check it. But for this instance, I'm just going to execute the flight plan. It's now loaded into the FMS. I can now select flight plan and now page through using the next button. In this particular case, my flight plan didn't have an ILS approach, but I can quickly add that. Select the last entry, then arrival. 
And from Simbrief I know it's ILS 28 left through the Cipher 4 arrival. Select 28 left. I can page down to confirm the arrival. There it is, that's the one I want. And my transition point was Eddie. I'm done. And now I can execute. And I'm ready to go. And continue with my flight preparation. You can now page through and check it for any errors or discontinuities. Within the ATR 42 or 72, there's various ways you can check the flight plan, including leg by leg. Here I'm just doing a very quick check just to show you that the whole flight plan has been included and added in. My prep time has just been cut in half. Well all, I hope you found that useful. My thanks to YouTuber Yeti once again. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It does help the channel and is always appreciated. Stay well, look after yourself. See you again very soon. And bye for now.